Now, a quick run through of some of the features on the file menu, we can save a display. So if I save that one there, I could call it a, uh, I'll call it a quick save. Quick save. Now that is being saved. Now that is a reminder there that I could actually send that save file to another user of UT Man so that they could look and uh, test that same defect that was created here. And if somebody received that file or you wanted to load it yourself, you just go on to load he load menu here. We can print the form or save this screenshot to a bitmap, bitmap, i.e. to a photograph image for use in a presentation. Here we've got various actions for the probe, adjust the angle of the wedge as we saw earlier. Now zero probes, usually, which is the 90 degree sound heading vertically down, come in two flavors. Zero, which is a single crystal, and a twin crystal. The main difference is with the twin crystal, we lose a lot of our initial pulse so we can read more of the screen. Single crystal, this is all initial pulse and dead zone. So with twin crystal, we lose a lot of the dead zone and gain more of the screen to measure thinner sections. Now also we've got uh, other methods of testing. We've got pitch and catch, which essentially is two probes. I'll put a vertical defect in. Delete all defects. I'll put a, a line in here with the right mouse key representing lack of fusion. And here, this probe is transmitting and the rear probe is receiving. The rear probe can be dragged with the left mouse key, as can the transmitter. Or you can press the shift and cursor keys to move the receiver. So there is no defect on the A scan. Move it into the defect lack of fusion can now see the defect indication here. Another type of probe arrangement is through transmission, where the sound goes through the weld. And here it's the inverse of most ultrasonic inspection. An echo is a good sign. The sound has gone through the weld. As you move into the defect area, the signal is lost. That's called through transmission. Continuing on the uh, probe menu, we can set frequencies and probe diameters and set a, a, for a phased array probe, which gives us various parameters there. This is an advanced setting. We could color code the display for training purposes. And we can increase the number of skips. As I mentioned earlier, skip is the, is the distance the sound travels to hit the back wall and bounce up again. That is a full skip. That up to here is half a skip. Here we have a full skip and another full skip, that's two skips. For display purposes, we can change this, for example, to run to half a skip, or, or a maximum three skips. For slower computers, it's often better to go to just one skip. We can go for single line beam 
I would go for a focus beam. And we can use the step wedge for the zero calibration. Now in the weld, we've got the weld prep. We can pick various weld preps. There's some edge start welding, SAW. Compound bevel. We could have root corrosion. We could have a rough surface of the pipe, which gives us a lot more noise on the A scan. We could have pipe misalignment. So you can see here, this pipe is higher than this side of the weld. Now, when misalignment is set, we can also pick pipe wall thickness variation. So this side of the pipe is thicker than this side. We can change the thickness of the pipe. can change the diameter of the pipe. We can generate random defects and display. Or we could display random defects and hide. So we can have to the hidden, but to unhide them, we would just simply click on hide here. That hides defects. And that hides them, unhides them. On the options menu, we can pick UT sets, various epochs, USK7. If there's any problem with an epoch set in terms of the simulation, we can sometimes go for delete epoch records, which will empty the saved scans. Show 3D image. For slower computers, it's often a good idea to hide this image to speed things up a bit. Uncalibrate will totally uncalibrate a UT set so the student can recalibrate it. Scale mode, metric or imperial. And just for the uh, just for the USK7, we can always show UT controls. So we can always see these slider bars, or we can have it like that, so they're not visible unless we put the mouse over it. <clears throat> then we have a help, 